Chances are it could be someone who's always fancied your woman. There's always a guy, there's always a mate who fancies your woman, they want what you have. Uh, they're ready to jeopardise a 30 year friendship for one night with her. <laughs> kind of sneaky guy who if you're in a coma, they turn up around your woman's house late at night on the pretext of seeing she's okay when, uh, you know, they can text or call her. They don't need to do the face-to-face -face contact. <laughs> uh, follow my dad's advice pretty well, except for the iPod. Um, she got my iPod, I had a couple of iPods. Hers had broken, I felt I had not, no option but to lend her the older iPod. Didn't want to do that, not a, I'm not a very giving guy, I don't like people using my stuff, never have. Uh, lend her the iPod, never got it back. Uh, as much as I want the iPod back, I know that's not grounds for getting back together with someone. You, you need a better reason. <laughs> never got back together with anyone before. I think once something's broken, the trust is gone. Um, you know, there's too much you can't talk about. Uh, you've done too much during the separation. Um, you're in contact with bad women all of a sudden, you're drawing up short lists of women you want to sleep with. It's a bad situation. Uh, but if we did get back together, I know that I'm, I'm, I'm devious enough to hold back on any new bedroom moves I might have acquired during the separation. I'm a, I'm a dishonest guy, I'm very honest about that. Even this, being here on stage uh, is a consequence of telling someone some years ago that I was a stand-up, I was trying to impress them. They started Googling me, couldn't find any reviews. Uh, you know, they were onto me, they were onto me, but uh, I'm here now. Uh, so yeah, I'm devious enough to affect some bedroom rustiness, put in a couple of bad performances early on to lay any suspicions you might have to say to her, sorry baby, it's been a while. <laughs> I don't think she'd be like that with me, I think she'd want to show me why I'd been missing. She'd come at me with a full range of bedroom moves, I'd be thinking, well that's, that's new, that wants you too. Uh, you know, I'd be devastated, absolutely devastated. And if this plays out like I think it will, probably just weeks after I was off the scene, she would have had a call from a friend saying, hey look, uh, I know this guy, he's single, I've told him all about you, he's very curious, wants to meet you, he's, you know, forget about that loser, Ruiz Tyson, let me, let me hook you up with this guy. That's what girls do, they like to match, mate, they like to pair their friends off. It's like, can the ex not stay on her own for a bit and just reflect on what went wrong between us? Does she, does she need to start dating now? Could you maybe not spend some time on her own and think about how she can become an easier person to be around? <laughs> I don't think she's got that in her. I think she'll be on her way to see this guy, maybe even tonight. she would be taking my iPod with her. She'd be, she might look at the iPod and think, this is inappropriate, this belongs to my ex-lover. I could be naked with this new guy tonight. I can't take this with me. She doesn't have that in her. She, you know, she'd be turning up at his house, listening to heartbeat, summer sounds on the iPod. She'd be excited, seeing someone new for the first time, seeing, seeing them naked, it's an exciting thing. It's, it's guilt versus thrill. It's, it's a thrilling thing. Guilt cannot compete at that stage. She'd be in that room, she'd be, tearing his clothes off, comparing every part of his body to mine like a game of top trumps, 
hair in those categories, I'd wear those great head of hair, never going bald, nose, beautiful nose, four lots of wire plastic. Uh, as you can tell, doesn't, uh, operations weren't successful, very nasal. Um, every other category up for grabs, uh, stamina. Stamina, I think he'd do me on stamina. Uh, very stressed recently, mediating on behalf of, a, of an old friend trying to get his iPhone back from his ex. <laughs> get him messy. But yeah, you know, they'd have worked each other up into a frenzy in the, in the, in the preamble to meeting up. They'd have exchanged steamy texts and emails. Uh, they'd have had phone sex, uh, exchanged uh, heavily photoshopped pictures of their beds taken at flattering angles. Uh, said, I'm going to do you, I'm going to slam you. All these aggressive verbs bandied around. I'm going to pound you, I hope you can swim, I'm going to flood you niggas. All this stuff going on. All this stuff going on. Terrible situation for a, for a guy to think about his ex doing. Uh, yeah, my iPod. My iPod's going to be in that room. Thank you. <laughs> Wow. Um.